nestled within the serene embrace of Willow Grove's tranquil suburbs, where the idyllic atmosphere resonated with the picturesque charm of picket fences bordering meticulously manicured lawns, the Thompson family's residence stood as a haven of domesticity. The air was perpetually imbued with the intoxicating fragrance of freshly baked apple pies, a signature scent that wafted from the Thompsons' welcoming abode. Emily Thompson, a beacon of dedication and maternal love, had long taken pride in being the unspoken glue that bound her family's diverse personalities together into a semblance of harmony. However, in recent times, the domestic equilibrium she had strived so tirelessly to maintain began to unravel, leaving her ensnared in the maelstrom of familial chaos she unwittingly contributed to creating. Her offspring, Olivia and Ethan, had metamorphosed into insufferable little tyrants, their behavior mirroring the unchecked entitlement that had crept into their lives. Richard, their indulgent father, harbored a misguided belief that inundating them with material possessions was synonymous with exemplary parenting. The siblings, accustomed to having their every whim satisfied with a mere snap of their fingers, had developed an air of entitlement that seemed impervious to the values Emily had hoped to instill. Meanwhile, Emily, the unacknowledged orchestrator of household harmony, found herself shackled beneath the oppressive weight of familial expectations and domestic responsibilities, her spirit withering with each unacknowledged sacrifice. Exhausted and teetering on the brink of resentment, Emily reached a breaking point and, in a desperate bid to salvage her own sanity, concocted a meticulous plan to liberate herself from the clutches of domestic monotony. On a somber Wednesday afternoon, the heavy clouds hung low in the sky, casting a muted light over Emily's kitchen. The ambience was accentuated by the soft ticking of the antique clock on the wall, marking time with a melancholic rhythm. Seated at the worn wooden table, Emily cradled a cup of lukewarm coffee, its aroma mingling with the dampness in the air. As she sipped the tepid brew, a profound realization struck her with the force of a thunderbolt, resonating through the stillness of the room. It was a revelation that whispered to her innermost desires, the pressing need for a respite, a sanctuary from the mundane rhythm of everyday life. Yet, it wasn't just any vacation that beckoned, it was the allure of a liberation vacation, a journey that transcended the ordinary boundaries of escapism. In the recesses of her mind, Emily envisioned a getaway that went beyond the conventional paradigms of relaxation, a pilgrimage to a destination where the weight of familial obligations and the demands of her offspring would dissipate like morning mist. It wasn't merely an escape, it was a quest for personal emancipation, a voyage that would redefine the delicate balance of power within the confines of the Thompson household. In the hushed corners of her daydreams, Emily pictured herself on a secluded beach, the gentle ebb and flow of the tide providing a soothing backdrop to her thoughts. The golden sands stretched endlessly, mirroring the boundless possibilities that a well-deserved liberation vacation could unfold. Each grain of sand seemed to symbolize the myriad responsibilities she carried, waiting to be swept away by the cleansing waves of newfound freedom. As she continued to nurse her cup of coffee, Emily found herself lost in the vivid tapestry of her imagination, weaving a narrative of anticipation and liberation. The kitchen, once a mundane backdrop, transformed into the canvas for the brushstrokes of her dreams. The aroma of coffee became a fragrant potion, stirring the cauldron of her wanderlust, and the ticking of the clock, a metronome counting down to the rhythmic beats of her impending liberation. Over the ensuing days, Emily became consumed by a fervor for meticulous planning as she embarked on a quest to orchestrate her escape with the precision of a seasoned strategist. In the quiet solitude of late nights, when the world around her was cloaked in darkness, she delved into the vast realm of possibilities, immersing herself in the virtual landscapes of exotic destinations. The soft glow of her computer screen became a portal to a world beyond the mundane, a gateway to the promise of adventure. With an insatiable curiosity, Emily traversed the digital tapestry of far-flung locales, navigating through websites adorned with vivid imagery of paradisiacal islands, bustling markets, and ancient wonders. Each click of the mouse unveiled a new facet of escape, each image a brushstroke in the masterpiece of her liberation. The azure waters of serene beaches beckoned, capturing her imagination and transporting her to idyllic settings where the sun kissed the horizon, 
and palm trees whispered tales of leisure. As she meticulously curated her dream itinerary, the anticipation of exotic cocktails danced in her mind like effervescent spirits, promising a symphony of flavors that would tantalize her taste buds on a faraway island. The mere thought of sipping a concoction under the shade of a swaying palm tree, as the tropical sun dipped below the horizon, stirred a palpable excitement in her heart. In her clandestine research, Emily found solace in envisioning a scenario where the relentless demands of her familial obligations melted away like morning dew under the warmth of a tropical sun. The prospect of leaving behind the responsibilities that tethered her to the routine of everyday life became an intoxicating elixir, fueling her determination to craft an escape that bordered on the sublime. As she continued to unearth hidden gems in the vast expanse of travel information, Emily's planning metamorphosed into a detailed tapestry of aspirations. Each detail, from the choice of accommodation to the exploration of local markets, became a stroke in the canvas of her liberation. The process of planning itself became a form of escapism, a journey of anticipation that mirrored the adventure she sought beyond the confines of her daily existence. Emily decided to break the news on a Sunday evening, strategically timing it when the family was gathered for their weekly dinner. As they devoured Emily's carefully prepared roast chicken, she dropped the bombshell. Guess what, everyone? I've decided I need a break. A real break, Emily declared, her eyes flashing with determination. Richard looked up from his plate, a piece of chicken dangling from his fork. A break? What are you talking about, Emily? I'm talking about a vacation, Richard. For myself. I need some time away from all this chaos, she gestured vaguely at the chaos that was their home. Olivia and Ethan exchanged puzzled glances, temporarily pausing their constant bickering over the TV remote. You can't just leave, Mom. Who's going to take care of us? Olivia whined. Emily smiled, a mischievous glint in her eyes. Don't worry my darlings. I've arranged for Grandma to stay with you. She will make sure you don't starve or destroy the house in my absence. The bombshell announcement echoed through the household like an unexpected thunderclap, eliciting a symphony of protests and incredulous stares from the unsuspecting family members. Emily, however, remained resolute, an unwavering force determined to breathe life into her escape plan. In the aftermath of the announcement, the atmosphere within the family home crackled with tension, like the charged air before a storm. As the ensuing days unfolded, the household transformed into a hive of activity, with Emily at the epicenter orchestrating the covert operations of her impending getaway. The air was thick with the scent of cardboard boxes and the rustle of packing tape as belongings were meticulously sorted and stowed away. Secretive phone calls, carried out behind closed doors, became the clandestine threads weaving the intricate tapestry of Emily's liberation. Each whispered conversation was a stitch in the fabric of her clandestine departure, shrouded in a veil of mystery that heightened the drama of her imminent escape. The eve of departure finally arrived casting a surreal glow over the household as Emily stood poised at the front door, suitcase in hand, like a protagonist on the brink of a daring adventure. Richard, in a last-ditch effort to salvage the status quo, pleaded with her, his promises of reform and increased involvement in household chores falling like desperate pleas in the face of Emily's determination. The air was charged with the weight of unspoken negotiations, a silent battleground for the balance of power within the Thompson household. In their respective realms, Olivia and Ethan, the young scions of entitlement, sulked in their rooms. The realization dawned on them like a dark revelation, their reign of privilege and indulgence was about to meet an abrupt and unwelcome end. The impending departure of the matriarch signaled a seismic shift, and the siblings grappled with the impending void that would be left in her wake. The rooms echoed with the melancholic notes of an era drawing to a close, a prelude to the uncertain symphony of change that awaited the household. As Emily crossed the threshold into the unknown, suitcase in hand, the door closing behind her marked not only the physical departure but also a metaphorical closing of the chapter in the Thompson family saga. 
The lingering echoes of protests and stares were drowned out by the anticipatory hum of freedom and self-discovery that awaited her beyond the confines of her familial obligations. Ignoring the pleas and protests, Emily stepped out into the abyss, a sense of freedom washing over her. Her destination? Bali, a tropical paradise that seemed like a world away from the chaos she was leaving behind. Nestled amidst the breathtaking beauty of Bali, Emily found herself immersed in the lap of opulence within the confines of her beachfront villa. The sheer magnificence of her surroundings became a daily source of enchantment, with the sun-kissed waves gently lapping against the shore, creating a harmonious symphony that resonated with the rhythm of her heart. The villa itself was a sanctuary of indulgence, adorned with elegant furnishings and panoramic windows that framed the turquoise waters like a living masterpiece. Emily's days unfolded as a vibrant tapestry of self-discovery and lavish experiences. Mornings were a ritual of rejuvenation, as the soothing melodies of nature accompanied her through invigorating spa treatments, where skilled hands worked magic to release any lingering tension. Afternoons unfolded in a gastronomic delight, with each meal a tantalizing journey into the world of exotic Balinese cuisine. From aromatic sades to vibrant rendang, the culinary offerings mirrored the rich cultural tapestry of the island, leaving Emily's taste buds in a perpetual state of bliss. As she leisurely strolled along the powdery shores, the soft grains of sand cradling her every step, Emily couldn't help but feel a newfound sense of empowerment coursing through her veins. The rhythmic ebb and flow of the tide seemed to synchronize with her own internal pulse, forging a connection between the vast expanse of the ocean and the infinite possibilities that lay ahead. The azure sky above mirrored the expansiveness of her newfound perspective, as if the universe itself conspired to amplify her sense of self. In the embrace of Bali's natural wonders and the lavish cocoon of her beachfront sanctuary, Emily discovered a transformative journey of self-reflection and personal liberation. Each moment, whether spent in the lap of luxury or immersed in the untamed beauty of the island, contributed to a narrative of profound self-indulgence, leaving an indelible mark on her soul and a treasure trove of memories that would forever be etched in the sands of time. Back in Willow Grove, chaos ensued in the Thompson household. Richard struggled to manage the demanding schedules of two spoiled teenagers and the watchful eye of grandma. The absence of Emily's nurturing presence left a void that no amount of gadgets or shopping sprees could fill. Meanwhile, Emily was crafting a subtle revenge plan. She began sending postcards to her family, each one detailing a new and exciting adventure she was experiencing in Bali. The vivid descriptions of local markets, breathtaking landscapes, and thrilling activities fueled the envy growing within her family. With each postcard, Emily attached a small, carefully selected souvenir, a Balinese trinket, a colorful sarong, or a vial of fragrant spices. The packages arrived at the Thompson doorstep like a taunting reminder of Emily's newfound freedom. One day, Emily received a frantic call from Richard. Emily, please come back. The kids are out of control, and I can't handle this alone. We miss you. Emily maintained a composed demeanor, her posture exuding a serene confidence that bordered on enigmatic as she absorbed Richard's plea. The subtle curve of her lips hinted at a sly smile, a silent declaration of her unwavering resolve. She held a poised stillness, a picture of quiet authority that contrasted sharply with the urgency in Richard's voice. With a measured cadence, she responded, I'm sorry, Richard, but I'm not ready to cut my vacation short. Perhaps this unexpected twist of events will serve as a poignant lesson for everyone on the importance of appreciation. Her words hung in the air, carrying a weight that went beyond the immediate circumstance. It was a calculated statement, crafted to not only assert her autonomy but also to impart a broader wisdom that transcended the current conversation. The ambience of the room seemed to shift subtly as Emily's words lingered, each syllable casting a ripple of contemplation. In the stillness that followed, the air was charged with a certain tension, a mix of anticipation and curiosity about the consequences that would inevitably follow her decision. Her poised expression revealed little of her inner thoughts, leaving those in the room to grapple with the ramifications of their actions. The room, adorned with muted tones and subtle opulence, 
became a backdrop to this unexpected confrontation. The soft glow of ambient light filtered through the curtains, casting a gentle aura around Emily as she stood firm in her stance. The ticking of a nearby clock became a metronome, marking the passage of time as the conversation hung in suspension. Richard, taken aback by Emily's steadfastness, attempted to find words to sway her decision, but her composed demeanor remained unyielding. The atmosphere crackled with unspoken tension, a silent clash of wills echoing in the spacious room. Emily's deliberate choice to extend her vacation had transformed a mundane interaction into a pivotal moment, leaving those present to grapple not only with the immediate consequences but also with the broader implications of their actions in the grand tapestry of relationships and understanding. As the days passed, Emily continued her escapades in Bali, embracing the thrill of liberation. She explored hidden temples, danced under the moonlit sky, and discovered the joy of being her own person. The postcards kept coming, each one a testament to the life she had reclaimed. Eventually, the Thompson household began to crumble under the weight of its own disarray. Without Emily's steady hand, the once pristine home transformed into a chaotic mess. Richard, humbled by the challenges of single-handedly managing the household, finally understood the value of his wife's contributions. One evening, as Emily lounged by a Balinese pool, she received a surprising video call from Richard. The chaos behind him was evident, the kids were bickering, grandma looked exhausted, and the house was in disarray. Emily, please, we need you. I never realized how much you do for us, Richard pleaded. Emily sighed, contemplating her next move. She felt a twinge of sympathy for her family, realizing that her liberation had come at a cost. With a newfound sense of control, she decided to extend an olive branch. I'll be home in a week, Richard. But things are going to change. It's time for you and the kids to appreciate the effort I put into making this house a home. As Emily boarded the plane back to Willow Grove, she couldn't help but smile. Her revenge had been sweet, and the liberation vacation had not only transformed her but had also shaken the foundation of the entitled Thompson household. When she walked through the front door, Emily was greeted by a surprisingly clean and organized home. The kids, subdued and reflective, apologized for their behavior, and Richard, humbled by the experience, vowed to be a more supportive partner. From that day forward, Emily's liberation vacation became a legendary tale in the Thompson family. It served as a reminder that even the most selfless individuals needed a break and that true appreciation came from understanding the value of what one had before it was lost. The once spoiled Thompson children and their reformed father learned to cherish the woman who had orchestrated a brilliant act of revenge disguised as a vacation. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more of our original stories, then please like and subscribe and share and leave comments.